News coming in from Uttar Pradesh. A 50-year-old woman allegedly gang-raped and murdered on the premises of a place of worship in a village in UP's Badaun district. The incident took place on Sunday night. An FIR has been registered on Tuesday after the post-mortem report came out, which revealed that the woman had sustained multiple injuries, including several on her private parts. The autopsy suggested that the woman's uh, private parts were brutalized. The main accused, who is a priest, is still on the run. Alok Singh joining us with more information. Alok, this is again one of those cases that really shakes up the entire nation simply because of the kind of details we are getting about the brutality, the barbarity of the crime, the entire location and also the significance of the accused who happens to be a priest, it seems, from the initial information that we are getting. Alok? Yes, Afrita, absolutely. Very, uh, very uh, unfortunate and uh, shocking incident. Uh, this time again from Uttar Pradesh and this time from Ut Uttar Pradesh's Badayu district. And in fact, this is a village where this woman resides with her family. Uh, she was also the Asha worker and she had went, uh, she had gone to the temple to offer prayers in the evening. On Sunday evening, this incident happened. Uh, and uh, in fact, at that point in time, the priest of the temple, these are the allegations that the priest of the temple, in fact, confined uh, her and uh, along with her two of his associates, uh, they brutally raped her and and in fact when she tried to uh, flee from that place they also beaten her up badly in fact they also damaged her private parts later after that uh, the priest that is what the story that is coming out that priest and his two of the associate themselves took her uh, to uh, the uh, to, to to her place but later after that they fled from that place uh, uh, in fact uh, for 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 complete one day there was complete negligence on the police parts as well because immediately the family members uh, on the next day uh, on the next day in the morning the family members approached the local police and they tried to lodge the FIR but uh, police did not uh, pay any heed at that point in time what we are learning and uh, in fact uh, after 24 hours the FIR was registered and in fact the body was sent for the post-mortem examination uh, in fact after 18 hours so that is what we are learning uh, from the ground right now so definitely there is the lapses on the police part as well now when the matter uh, came to the media, when the media, media started showing this whole uh, story, now the police has taken the congregants and what we are learning that they are also planning mm -hmm. to take action against the, uh, against the current SHO who is, uh, who's, who's, who's presently deployed there. But, uh, but definitely this shows uh, what kind of society we are staying and not only that, the police lapses always comes out from the Uttar Pradesh. Back to you. Incident happened on Sunday. The FIR was registered on Tuesday and that is perhaps what uh, Alok is referring to. There is always that loss of that crucial time period in the very beginning. Uh, chances of losing crucial evidence also is more when there is a delay in registering a case. So to talk more about this, I want to bring in Mr. Vikram Singh, former DGP of Uttar Pradesh. Uh, uh, we have spoken so many times about these kind of instances, uh, Vikram Singh, and whether it's the roads in UP, the public transport, this time a temple, I mean a place of worship also where a devotee goes in all uh, sense of security that nothing wrong can happen there in the house of God. This is what happens there in a temple in Badam. Well, what can I say? It seems to be wolves in sheep clothing seem to be in great abundance in society and it is a tragedy a social tragedy, but more than that is the administrative tragedy of the police default that the FIR was lodged after the lapse of 48 hours. Precious 48 hours were lost in the registration of the case yes. and that facilitated the escape of the accused. Also, I would strongly recommend that action under 166A of the IPC be taken against the delinquent police officials whose mm -hmm. moral duty was not only to register the case immediately, ensure the uh, immediate and prompt arrest, but that did not happen. And as you very rightly said, we keep on discussing these things, issue after issue, tragedy after tragedy, but nothing seems to have changed on the ground. I do expect, and I'm very disappointed today, as you are, that I had expected a lot more that we have not drawn lessons from Hathras, mm -hmm. we have not drawn lessons from Unnao in uh, Unnao rape case and murder case. Mm -hmm. But I do hope that somebody senior is watching and they take stock of the situation because it is eroding the credibility of the police to a level it will be very difficult for them to redeem.
Right. Yogita Bayana is also with us, social activist and a women's rights activist. Yogita, um, uh, Vikram Singh put it so well, wolf in sheep's clothing. Now, how do we even feel safe in a state uh, like this where temples also are not safe for women? This is a very important incident again happening as it has in Uttar Pradesh once again. And what I agree with the former DGP that this lapse that happens in the initial hours that causes a lot of damage in terms of losing evidence and the delay in getting justice to the woman. This is really, really sad and uh, disgusting, I would say, because she was also Anganwadi helper and these uh, very active uh, person must be. And this is happening inside the temple. It gives us shiver. Where are we safe? I mean, we are not safe anywhere in this country. And especially Uttar Pradesh, I mean, it gives us chills, you know. They had to beg for postmortem. They delayed the postmortem for 48 hours. I mean, how can they do this? I mean, I think even not only the uh, culprits, I think poli whole uh, police station should be booked under this law. Uh, I mean, they should they should be punished severely. Otherwise, there is no end to it. I mean, we are not learning our lessons. I mean, we are going ahead like we discuss mm -hmm. and then next day we forget. And I tweeted about it yesterday. It was very disturbing. If we did not have the post-mortem after the yes. patient, I mean, we, we wouldn't have got to know the real real thing, you know. Otherwise, I mean, I, I feel so sick and short of words. I mean, this girl must have gone through such a trauma and torture. And she was raped for almost 50 plus hours. I mean, how can you torture somebody like this and still no action? Because these culprits, they know that they will get away and there'll be no action end of the day. It gives them motivation when you see, even in Hathras right. case, that, that's the motivation they get. You know, that, that's the problem. In the, uh, especially UP has to buck up. and Yes, absolutely. Really when there is no strong deterrent, when there is no fear of law, when there is no efficiency in law enforcement, these kind of crimes just happen day in and day out. There is no fear of punishment, Yogita. And... Sexual perverts, predators are lurking just about everywhere in UP. That is what we uh, seem to understand, whether it's public transport, whether it's the rural areas or the villages or the roads of UP or a temple for that matter. Nowhere is a woman safe. She is vulnerable just about everywhere. That's the big picture we are getting. Thanks for joining us, uh, Mr. Vikram Singh and Yogita Bhayana with your views on this news.